trying out some new products that I got. Um, I just got the Juvia's Place Masquerade Palette in the mail, um, what was it, on Friday. So I'm going to be trying that out today, as well as the RCMA Original No Color Powder. Um, I usually use the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder, but I've heard a lot about this, and I've seen other YouTube um, beauty influencers use it, so I wanted to try it out. I'm a little skeptical because it is a white powder, so I don't know how that's going to go on my skin, but we'll see. I also wanted to try out the new Maybelline Superstay uh, foundation. I have the Fit Me foundation, and I really love it, um, and I'm also uh, a fan of the Fenty Beauty foundation, but I definitely wanted to try this one um, because I've seen it going around YouTube a lot, and I wanted to see what all the fuss was about. Usually my color is... Uh, mocha so in the fit me foundation it's mocha however um when i swatched mocha it was a little bit darker um on my skin so i got warm coconut which is 356 so we're gonna try that out so normally i color correct it doesn't matter the foundation it just makes me more comfortable so i guess one day i'll have to try it without the color corrector but as right now this is what i do Um, sometimes I do, I do do around my mouth, but I'm not doing that today. Okay, now we're going to go in with the Maybelline Superstay conce uh, Concealer. Maybelline Superstay Foundation is up to 24 hours of wear. I'm not going to wear makeup for 24 hours, but yeah. So, I'm just going to try one dot so far. Because I have been known to put too much on my face and it looked ridiculous. Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. I'm going to use that to uh, use it as a base on my eyelids.
now that I have my wing liner and my lashes on, I'm going to go back in with the palette and just clean up or add in any shadow that I feel needs to be touched up. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with our with our color or oh, color pop. I don't even have that. People been comparing these. Okay, with the makeup revolution. What is this on my hand? Hmm. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution conceal and define full coverage uh, conceal and co conceal and contour. Um, this is in the colors C13 and C12. Um, this is the color difference. <clears throat> I have used C13 before. I have not used C12, but I'm going to use it today. Um, just a little bit on top of the C13 to see how that comes out. Because I feel like my the C13 has kind of been blending a little bit too much into my foundation. At least when I use it with the Fit Me and the um, Fenty Beauty. So, <clears throat> I just want to add a little bit more brightness under my eye for this look in particular. Normally, I don't. Normally, I would keep C13 and just, you know, keep it moving. But I'm going to add just a little bit more lighter coverage than usual. I'm going to put a little bit on my chin. And just a tad bit on my forehead. <clears throat> Under my eye, I'm going to go in with C12. Ooh, that's light. I hope that blends well. Okay, and while that's sitting, whew, I am nervous, y'all, about trying this RCMA No Color Powder. RCMA, no color powder. It's supposedly a translucent powder. Cosmetics uh, contour palette. I'm going to use the second to darkest shade to put a little bit of color back in my face. And then I'm going to take my finishing powder, um, it's a MAC finishing powder in Dark Deep, I think, <clears throat> or in Deep, no it's Dark Deep, to get this off of my face. And 
same contour palette. I'm going to go in um, and just add some, a little bit of shade around my eye and into my nose. Nothing crazy. I have used the conceal and contour sticks or the um, the concealer from Makeup Revolution to do this, but I feel like it looks too heavy just for my taste, so I haven't done it again. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with the this color here, more of a peachy color, and just do my brow bone. Couture Le Bronze Highlighter um, or Glow Powder, Diamond Glow Powder. <clears throat> um, I have tried Le Peach. I do have them both. My husband, shout out to him, and uh, thanks to my sister-in-law, shout out to her, helped him get these powders for me for Christmas. He got me two. Real MVP. So... I haven't tried the peach yet um, because I'm kind of enchanted with LeBron's, but eventually I will get around. Oh, it's so pretty. Mm. I feel like a fairy. I just want to put this all over and just be like fancy. So yeah, got that. Should I wear blush? Mm, no, I don't think I'm going to blush today. Um, gonna finish the look with my NYX Butter Gloss in Angel Food Cake. This is my favorite gloss because I'm not really a lipstick person unless I'm, I don't know, trying something new. But my everyday go-to gloss if I wear makeup is this one. It's so pretty. The the bronze in my cupid's bow. And on the tip of my nose. Okay. Alright. So, and then we're going to finish off. I ran out of my normal setting spray, so I've been using the Evian facial spray um, to kind of set my makeup or fix my makeup because it says that it can do that. Use daily all year round Evian facial spray. Hydrate your skin, helps fix your makeup, freshens and purifies. I usually use this before my makeup. I spray it all over my face. kind of wakes me up, makes me feel more ref refreshed, but... Using it to fix my makeup has been pretty good. So, this is my finished look. I think it came out pretty nice. Even though I was scared about this uh, white powder, translucent, um, I think it came out really well in the end. So, I'm not bad at it. <clears throat> but, I hope you guys like it. Oh, and get this palette. Yes. Yes. I like it. It's a really nice palette. So, 